With this quadratic, I've not been told the roots or a turning point. But I have been told the y-intercept, so I know that c is minus 4. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to say that y equals ax squared plus bx minus 4. Now I do know that when x is 1, y is 4. So if I were to substitute that in, so the y is 4 when the x is 1. The 1 squared is just 1, and a times 1 is a. The b times 1 is b. Then if I add the 4 to both sides, I get 8 is equal to a plus b. And we'll pause there for a minute and come back to that in a second. I also know that when x is minus 5, y is 16. So if I do the same thing for that, so y is 16 when x is minus 5. So 16 is equal to minus 5 squared is positive 25 times by the a. Minus 5 times b is minus 5b. Minus the 4. And then I'll add 20 to both sides. So I add 4 to both sides. So 20 equals 25a minus 5b. And then I notice that in this case, I can actually divide through by 5 just to make the numbers a little bit smaller and a little bit easier to deal with. I can now solve these two equations simultaneously. If I add these two equations together, then the b's would cancel out. So that's what I'm going to do. So the 8 plus the 4 is 12. The a plus the 5a is 6a. And the minus b and the b are going to cancel out. So I just get 6a is equal to 12. So therefore the a has to be 2. And now I know a is 2. I can substitute that back. Probably easiest to substitute it back into here. So the 8 is equal to 2 plus b. So b is 6. And now I know what a, b and c are. I know that a is 2, b is 6, and the c is minus 4. So this is the equation of that curve.